Alright, so this is the weekly read for Aquarius, the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 12th through the 18th. Let's see what messages we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for April the 12th. Alright. We have Cosmic Heart, Cosmic Christ. Let's see what we have for this. You are elevating your vibrations toward the frequency of limitless supply and unconditional love. Spiritually, you are reaching for a high level of attainment. Past pain and self-defeating behaviors shall no longer have place in your heart. All right. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April... The 12th through April the 18th, 2020. Messages guidance for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for April the 12th, April the 13th, April the 14th, April the 15th. Excuse me, y'all. This is for April the 16th, April the 17th, and April the 18th. 2020. This is for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. April the 12th through April the 18th, 2020. We got the Hierophant here. So this is either talking dealing with the Taurus or this is dealing with your own wisdom, truth and wisdom. So truth and wisdom here. I feel like there's <laughs> feel like someone someone's coming from your past here um there could be a return here someone either that you're were in a relationship with with the hierophant or this is like a past soulmate there could be a connection that's being reevaluated um when i say past soulmate meaning someone you may not have met within this life but you shared some energy within a previous life this could be someone you know or a whole new person but with the ace of cups here i feel like there is a new opportunity that is beginning so sunday we have the four of swords i feel like you're very much in the space of relaxing sunday so you may be relaxing you may be resting becoming rejuvenated for the next week okay could be in alignment with really going within yourself meditating we got just i mean uh, we got the will of fortune here so i feel like you need to be in alignment with change with growth with expansion here i feel like for some of you guys there could be you could be reevaluate if you're not you could be reevaluating a relationship um this is jupiter energy here so this is about growth and expansion some of you guys are in alignment with growth you're in alignment with expanding with the leo energy here of power some of you guys are overcoming a negative vibration overcoming and we have the tower energy in reverse. So you're most definitely overcoming some disruption within yourself, but also with the tower energy. Now, mind you, I'm going to flip this up because I do not read re reversals in my main layout. I read them in the clarification, but not in the main layout because I want my energy to be stable here. So for some of you guys, even though you're dealing with some disruptions, oh, let me rephrase that. This is going to be an unexpected and unavoidable um, type of tower tower is not a bad thing tower is hold on one second okay so with this tower in reverse this is something that is unavoidable meaning this is a now mind you like i said a tower is a significant event that leads to change in your life it does not have to be a negative event but usually when things happen unexpectedly we automatically go toward oh my god something bad is going to happen but this does not mean that something bad is going to happen this just means with destiny here and the tower in reverse whatever is happening is a part of your destiny all right so that is for wednesday thursday we have whew, look at here so it's just not always bad. We got the two of cups here, spiritual union. So you may have a return out of nowhere here um, of a soulmate unexpectedly. Can of us unavoidable. So six of pentacles here. I feel like this is there's something Friday here that could um, result in some spiritual and material prosperity. There's a transformation that is occurring. I feel like you guys are going to have an unavoidable event this week.
Um, I don't think it's going to be bad, though. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it's going to be bad. We're going to see when I clarify that tower, but I do not think it's going to be bad. So we have the Four of Swords for Sunday. Why is this Four of Swords here for Sunday? We got the Moon card here. High Priest, I mean the Empress here with the Knight of Swords. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're very much inside of yourself. The moon card here, you could be going into the depths of yourself, really retreating into your own emotions, into your own feelings. Empress here with the Knight of Swords. You could be in a space of allowing something to grow so that you can kind of take action. Hangman here with the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you have a new opportunity, and this is about really changing your perspective. Some of you guys fear allowing something to move forward. And I feel like you could be in a space of really needing to go within yourself. Kind of rest, um, recuperate, um, really be in the space of reconsidering this type of situation some of you guys could be reevaluating, like i'm telling you a relationship all right so we have the will of fortune or the destiny card here we have the ace of swords here with the knight of wands and the two of pentacles i feel like for a lot of you guys there is going to be some clarity some good news fortunate news here that is going to create harmonious change for you but i feel like with the seven of cups it could also make some confusion some of you guys could have been confused about making a decision or confused um in dealing with a lover there could be some clarity here and some good news that creates change within the situation it's destiny whatever it is so even if it's not good news it's a part of your destiny and you are needing to be in the space of overcoming your ego self in order for in order to you know, allow the change or allow the transformation to happen. Hmm. So we have power here. Could be dealing with the Leo. Seven of Wands here. For life, for a lot of you guys, you're resisting investing into anything. Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. You got a lot of queens here. So if this is a feminine energy, you're very much overcoming these energies within yourself. Really moving to this Empress state within your um, energy. Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Sevens represent choices, spiritual choices. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, overcoming this ego is a spiritual choice, meaning you're choosing to overcome the lower vibrations and really elevate. You're choosing to move to a higher vibration. You're being loving to yourself, but you can also be in a space of resisting investing into anything other than Queen of Cups. Now, for some of you guys... If you're resisting loving yourself, this unexpected tower may create a shift in that and you you may have to look at a situation more sensibly. But for the most part, I feel like this is you overcoming this ego disruption here. So let's see why we got the tower. We got three of swords here. Four of cups here. Four of swords. Whew. Four of wands. So if you've been stuck, you're not going to be stuck anymore. If you've been stuck, you're not going to be stuck anymore. Um, I feel like there's a movement that is happening. Uh, yeah, someone is, I feel like someone's moving fairly quickly. Um, hmm. So I don't know if this is you that is going to sever connection or someone you're dealing with that is going to sever connection. But four of cups, four of swords, four of wands, those are all... Fours are, are boxed in energy. Um look look at a before it's a square it's like a box so i feel like for a lot of you guys you could have you could be in a space of you could have been holding on to something i don't really get holding on i feel like for a lot of you guys you're unhappy with the situation so you're choosing to retreat and make plans to move away from a situation that you've lost energy in or that you've lost um interest in i didn't mean to say energy you could have decided to not put any more interest in it or any more energy in it but i feel like you've lost interest in the situation this could be a family situation this could be dealing with family whatever the case may be i feel like if you were once stuck you are not anymore i feel like you're reevaluating again a relationship and this disruption this unavoidable um, energy or its unavoidable shift could be you having a revelation that you are not happy and that you want to retreat from a situation that does not make you happy all right so and we got the nine of pentacles there so some of you guys could definitely be gaining your independence from a situation two of cups here that's two of cups here Ten Swords here. Some of you guys are embracing the end of a difficult situation. Justice here, Seven of Swords. I feel like there's going to be some truth that is exposed. 
Cancerian energy here, chariot here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, some truth is going to be exposed. And I feel like Tower, Ace of Wands, you're going to release this opportunity. You're going to move forward. I feel like for a lot of you guys, someone could have extended an opportunity to you. And I feel like you're just establishing your strength to kind of move away from this conflicting situation. So again, you are going to be reevaluating the situation. Um, I feel like you're moving toward a new potential offer because you some truth is being released. And whatever truth that is, is going to create balance within your life. So we have material and spiritual prosperity here. Ten pentacles. We got all these tens. There's definitely... Uh, completion to something here. Ten Pentacles here with the Knight. Some of you guys are committed to some. In it looks like you're committed to some imbalanced um, responsibilities. Meaning you could be picking up a lot of responsibilities that are not yours. World card. I told you something's ending here. World card. Five of Swords and the Devil here. Some of you guys have been dealing with a negative or a codependent situation. There's an end to that. Seven of Cups here, Nine of Wands. I feel like you're overcoming your confusion and you're deciding to create balance within the situation by moving away from it, by changing the situation. Uh, death here, transformation. There's definitely a transformation this week. Five Pentacles here and into a lack situation. You're going to allow your concerns to fade away. And I really feel like you're going to establish your strength to work on moving forward. Queen of Wands is about moving in a new direction. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be investing in your own um, independence. You're really asserting that, asserting yourself. You're going to see the truth around a relationship this week. And I feel like it's unavoidable. It's like you can't miss the truth. Like you may have pretended that you didn't see it previously. You may have not, you know, chosen to not see clarity previously. You have no choice this week but to see it. So this is an unavoidable revelation here. And that's because you've been choosing to be in the high vibration. When you choose to be in the high vibration, you choose to see things clearly. Um, choose to see things as they are. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Aquarius. Sun, rising, and Venus. Moving forward. What messages or guidance? Ooh. We got purification. It says you... It, I'm sorry. It says it's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. We have prosperity. It says the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving it and infinite supply. It says you are supplied for your today and all of your tomorrows. I told you you were dealing with a codependent situation. For a lot of you guys, you're choosing to move away from that, to not be in those lack or codependent connections. So you're really seeing the truth and you're choosing to um, overcome it. You have an unavoidable revelation this week, guys. So, you know, strap up tight. That's all I got.